Well, my colleague Gimba uh, has one of the spokespersons of the army on the phone, and he'll be talking to him shortly. Okay. Gimba. Indeed, I do, uh, but uh, to be precise, it will be the special advisor and media to the governor of Borno State, Isa Guso, who joins me now via telephone. Uh, thank you so much indeed for joining us on Sunrise Daily. A lot of people are really concerned as the father of Solomon is because this happened in July 25th of this year. Uh, three days later on the 28th, Boko Haram released that very tape that we just watched where he asked for help to be rescued by the government and the Borno State government, to be precise, the federal government, the university community, and a host of other people. Why do you think that this rescue hasn't happened to this time? Well, uh, first of all, Governor Kasi Shetima deeply, deeply shares the pain of families of all these victims. Um, I can see the, the father's faith. I know the pain he's going through. Governor Kasi Shetima shares his background. Um, you know, issues of insurgency are very, very complicated. They are not issues, unfortunately, that the state government can give the kind of update that the family deserves. You would recall that when the Chibok girls uh, were abducted, at some point, a lot of Nigerians had given up. Many people believed that nothing was being done. And all of a sudden, the cherry news came that some of them, the first of all, about 20, 21 were negotiated. And then we had 82 again negotiated. Now, the point I'm trying to raise is that quietness or rather silence on the part of either the Borno State government or the federal government, and indeed the military, does not translate to doing nothing. It's a very complex thing that Governor Shetima can assure the parents that he is concerned, the president is concerned, the Nigerian military is concerned, and so much is being done on the ground. I am uh, not permit me to just uh, to butt in here because uh, uh, Solomon's father in Abuja they are just said to us and confirmed that uh, the Borno State government has not reached them has not reached him in particular. Uh, do you think that that is abnormal? The Borno State government has not reached the parents. Yes. First of all. Um, the issue of insurgency, which uh, it, it, it's actually in the hands of the federal government. But that does not mean the Borneo State government has no obligation. If you have followed the trend of events, you discover that, you discover that after that incident, Governor Shetima was at the University of Mediguri on four or five different occasions. He met with the university management. He had security meetings with the university and even approved major interventions, you know, for the University of Medigree. And then part of the discussions he had with the university had to do with the plight, you know, of, of, of these uh, lecturers. He was at the university on three, four occasions. I'm sure the father must have heard about that. Um, if he has not been personally reached, I think there must have been uh, a breakdown of communication. I will kindly request that you give me his number. But what I know is that the government has been in, is in touch with the university community where he comes from. That where, where the lecturer comes from, that I know, and I think that is the link between 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 the the, the government, you know, and those abducted. What is important is that so much is being done on the ground. Unfortunately, I'm not at liberty to discuss whatever is going on, but I want the father to know that Governor Kasi Shetima was a lecturer in the University of Medellin. He knows exactly what it means 
to for a colleague of his to be abducted, you know, by Boko Haram. He knows what the father is going on because this is something the governor has, has been passing through, unfortunately, since 2014, following the Chibok abduction. I know the trauma the governor has faced, and I know the kind of effort that the governor has made. We cannot come out and say what the governor has done, but I know he has done quite a lot, and so much is being done. The so president... My, my apologies. Uh, let me just come in here again. Uh, my apologies. Because you said that you've done so much to try to... Um, so much is going on on the ground to try to resolve this issue. Because one would think that if so much is being done to try to resolve this issue, what role goes to the government of uh, Borno State, for instance, to the federal government, to NNPC, who is in a joint uh, project with the University of Medjugorje? How far have you been able to decipher what NNPC, in conjunction with the university authorities, are doing to try to rescue Solomon and his colleagues? Like, you know, the issue of rescue lies heavily with the military. You are aware that the military keeps changing its strategies. The war against Boko Haram is still on. All uh, arms of the military, from the Air Force to the ground troops, are fully involved. The NNPC, uh, I know the NNPC has been in touch with the Borno State government. They are also in touch with the military. And the university community is completely, you know, concerned about it. Like I said, all hands are on deck. There is serious collaboration going on. You know, Gimba, if the father of, of you know, of any, if the parents of any of these uh, uh, kidnapped lecturers were to be told what is good, he would never understand. The only thing any parent will understand is to see his or her, 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 her son freed. You know, when the Boko Haram uh, girls were, were still, some, when the majority of them were in the hands of Boko Haram, I remember from experience, there were instances the governor invited the parents, tried to talk, to talk to them, tell them what was going on. Believe me, no parent was ready to hear that. The only thing that would matter to any parent is to see his or her son rescued. That is what is most important. And I can assure you that the governor is very much committed to that. And then, luckily, we have a president that is very sincere I must in this fight against Boko Haram. I must thank you so Why? much indeed, uh, Isa Guso. And we will, of course, uh, make that link and get, get your, his numbers, Solomon's father's numbers to you, with assurances that uh, uh, the governor of Borno said we get to have a word with him. Uh, let's go very quickly. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll go on a very short break now. We'll be back to wrap this up. Stay with us.